Good afternoon and good evening, distinguished guests and resource persons. Welcome to the national workshop on criteria and indicators for tropical peatland restoration, exploring holistic and practical approaches for monitoring tropical peatland. Thursday, the 7th of July, 2022. Let me introduce myself. My name is Iska Lestari, and I would be your MC today. First of all, I would like to greet the Honorable Dr. Mirna Safitri, the Deputy of Education, Socialization, Participation, and Partnership of the Pitland and Mangrove Restoration Agency, or the RGM. I also welcome other respected resource persons, invited guests, and workshop participants. We will have a total five sessions today, which we will try to cover in about two and a half hours. For all attendees, please use chat box if you have any questions, comments, or ideas during the sessions. You can write your questions or comments both in Indonesian and English. Kindly mute your audio during the session and list us to speak. Thank you. For our first session, we will have introduction by Dr. Rupes Bomia. Welcome remark by Professor Daniel Murdiarso and opening remarks by Dr. Mirna Safitri. Rupes is a C4 scientist as wetland biogeochemist, climate change, and blue carbon expert. Professor Daniel is currently hold a position as C4 principal scientist and a professor at IPB University. Ibu Mirna is a deputy of education, socialization, participation, and partnership of BRGM. Ibu Mirna is also an academic. Before joining BRGM, she was a lecturer in law at Pancasila University. Now, we move to the first agenda, introduction by Dr. Rupes Bomia. Rupes, the time and screen is yours. Thank you, Iska. Um, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning, a good afternoon, and good evening from where you are joining. I thank you, Iska, for opening uh, today's program and for providing brief introduction. It is really an honor to be hosting an event where so many distinguished dignitaries, government officials, researchers, practitioners, and members of civil society organization have joined to discuss, deliberate, and share knowledge on peatlands. It is really satisfying to note that convening this workshop will offer a platform for information exchange and advancing our efforts toward a more nuanced and holistic approach for peatland restoration. When we planned this workshop, the idea was to facilitate such a dialogue and showcase our partnerships and collaboration with various stakeholders who are involved in peatland restoration to develop a practical tool for effective and meaningful monitoring of peatland restoration, the criteria and indicators approach. One of the main objective of this workshop today is to gather insights for finalization, a practitioner's manual to implement criteria and indicators for continuous monitoring of peatlands and to and, and that tool can help in assessing success of restoration efforts in clear terms. So I'm really humbled to be in company of so many knowledgeable persons who are present here today, and I look forward to exciting discussions and new knowledge. I hope that's the case with you all as well. With that, I invite Professor Daniel Modiaso to convey his welcome remarks. Professor Modiaso, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Rupesh. <clears throat> welcome, everybody. And perhaps to some of you, welcome back. I said welcome back because we've uh, done this webinar uh, several times. And uh, it was last year. We have a series of four webinars and culminating today. Um, we promise that after those four webinars, we would be testing what you have been contributing as what we call uh, aspects of the restoration. And um, colleagues uh, have been working very hard in the field after 
listening your suggestion about criteria and indicators, we went to the field and test that by uh, looking at the verifier, whether those criteria indicators are there in the field for us to establish or develop the manual that hopefully will be useful for the practitioner, for the government in restoring pitland ahead of us. C4 has more than 20 years experience in developing such manual criteria and indicators. Um, but it was related to the sustainable uh, forest management. So we, we learned from the experience. Um, it was described at length by the guru of CNI. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Ravi Prabhu is in the room. I would like to recognize his contribution and support. Uh, we are going to move forward to look at the application of criteria and indicator for pitland restoration. And uh, would also like to thank uh, BRG. At that time, last year, we were fully supported to run those four webinars uh, talking oh. about Gambut Pitland. And then um, suddenly, Ibu Mirna and Babudi uh, were there and faithfully joining us today. So uh, this is our promise, Ibu Mirna, Babudi. So uh, let's see how we, uh, we can proceed with what we've been doing in the past year. And if the outcome of this exercise would be useful at all, uh, we look forward that PRGM will be able to adopt it. And BRG is getting bigger now with mangrove in it. So we're also looking forward to perhaps develop the similar criteria and indicator manual uh, for mangrove as well in the future. So we look forward to work with you again uh, on that uh, arena. Uh, this occasion, I would like to recognize the support of many colleagues and organizations, including USAID, um, UNEP, and GPI, Global Pitland Initiative, who's been very faithful again in the past uh, year with those four webinars and colleagues from ITPC, the International Tropical Pitland uh, Center, is also supporting this initiative. So uh, thanks for your continued support. Uh, so we look forward to have this exercise today, uh, delivering to the fruition of the manual that we are expecting to have together. Thank you very much. Um, in the next, a session I would like to invite Ibu Mirna. As I said, Ibu Mirna has been very uh, faithful with us in, in um, delivering this process um, towards this year. He's been, she's been very uh, close uh, working with us to look at the possibility of using this manual. And, uh, uh, BRGM has a new horizon to look at, and we would like to hear from you, Ibu, uh, what is the expectation from the government if this manual, this tool will be useful at all. Ibu Mirna, over to you. Yeah, um, thank you, Prof. Uh, Daniel. Good afternoon. Selamat siang from Jakarta. Distinguished um, speakers, participants, uh, Ibu dan Bapak. So uh, as uh, we all know that since 2016, BRG had been tasked with facilitating the implementation of pitland restoration in seven provinces, in Sumatra, Kalimantan, and Papua. We realized that this task is challenging, but with the support of all parties in 2020, BRG could complete the task and be extended with the new mission of accelerating mangrove rehabilitation in nine provinces. In December 2020, BRG officially become BRGM, Badan Restorasi Gambut dan Mangro. And in total, now we work in 13 provinces, either for pit or also mangrove. Um, restoration of pitland certainly requires adequate time with the support of policies, human resources, science and technology, as well as community participation. The implementation of pitland restoration, we know that includes many dimensions. Keep in our mind that restoration are not carried out on a blank sheet of paper. 
The location that needs to be restored is a dynamic social and ecological landscape full of various interests and past practices that need to be corrected. Therefore, in assessing the success of restoration, it is necessary to understand the existing conditions of the social and ecological landscape and the history of its formation. The development of criteria and indicators to determine the success of wetland restoration is therefore not the black and white instrument. The assessment needs to be placed in the right context. The government is making serious efforts to restore this damaged pit ecosystem. There have been achievements, but we are aware that there are still things that need to be continuously improved. In this second term, the RGM focuses on continuing restoration activities in locations that had not been intervened. We are also maintaining existing rewetting infrastructure, continuing community empowerment, and more importantly is consolidating various efforts to support restoration carried out by many parties in the landscape we know as Pitland Hydrological Unit or Kesatuan Hydrologis Gambus, KHG. Um, today we welcome input from experts and practitioners to design the technical and institutional consolidation that can be developed. All with our common understanding that each KHG has its uniqueness. This year, in addition to refining the guidelines for the consolidation of and restoration in selected kahages, we also conducted a series of consultations with local governments and other parties regarding the appropriate model of kahage institutions. The criteria and indicator instruments that will be presented to us by the C4 team will be an interesting topic of discussion. We will learn from your views and experiences with the hope that they can sharpen our concept or propose the Kahage institutional model design. Thank you. <laughs>